Hello and welcome to Worst Unit Ever, a series where I break down units in Fire Emblem Engage Maddening on the base game and evaluate them based on how well they fit into team comps, what they bring to the table, and other nitty gritty details such as their supports and the bonuses they provide for support. Pandreo is a generalist, speedy magic user with a good build. He can fill a lot of different roles. He can be good on Mage Knight, Griffin Knight, Sage, High Priest. These are, I would say, his main classes that he wants to go on to take advantage of his growths and his bases. His bases are actually quite good. This is a level 2 Pandreo that just leveled up once after being put on Griffin Knight, and he already has 22 speed, base 23 speed, uh, he has pretty decent magic, in this case 11. Now Griffin Knight is not known for its high magic stat, but eventually he will get high enough magic and be able to use 11 sword pretty effectively. He also has pretty high res. Now if I were to put him on something like Mage Knight, his magic stat would be quite high. So he's generally going to be one of your better DPS units. He also has good bulk. He has pretty low investment in order to get him running. You can just slap a weapon on him and just have him start killing things for the most part. He also has a very useful passive that scales his own avoid and hit rate based on the number of allies and enemies within two spaces. So I can kind of demo that. So here's next to nothing. His hit rate's 139. And as you start adding in more things, it starts to scale. And if I actually hover over the hit rate, he's plus 15 hit on certain tiles uh, based on how many things are near him and then for his avoid furthest i can get is 51 avoid when i'm far away from everything so the bond ring gives him two and then as he gets closer he gets up to plus 15. now he can get higher than plus 15 this is just in this particular formation the highest this bonus can get to is plus 36 hit and avoid with every single available space within two range being occupied by an ally or an enemy so here are Pandreo's supports as well as what bonuses he provides other units. So he is a dodge focused archetype, meaning that as units increase their support level with him, he increases hit and he also increases dodge, which is crit avoid in Fire Emblem Engage. Now some of his notable supports in terms of how powerful these units are, are Alir, to some degree Alchrist, uh, Rosado, Panette, Fagato. Sadal, and to a lesser extent Vale and Mavier, who are more endgame units, and of those units, the best, Fagato is arguably one of the best, because you get them at the same time, and if you get them to A rank, like if you get Fagato and Pendreo to A rank, he gives Pendreo a Void plus 10, which is pretty useful. Now, other units that are more balanced give a Void plus 5, so the difference between 5 avoid between B and A rank is really not the biggest deal, especially if you have a bunch of units that give avoid 5. In terms of scaling his avoid, if you want to make some kind of dodge tank build, his best bet is a Leer for the balanced bonus, which gives avoid plus 5 pretty early on. So all you need is C rank to get avoid plus 5. It also scales crit, which is nice, and some crit avoid. Alchrist is a decent unit. He's more hit focused, but he does still give a void plus five. So even though it's hit focused, he still grants a void. Panette is also hit focused, so she also gives you a void plus five. So you have two sources of a void plus five uh, that are common in team comps, as well as a Leer who's always there. Uh, Fogato can give a void plus 10. Bune probably isn't going to be run. He's a crit focused, so he's not really going to help him too much. Sadal is also. A pretty common unit that's going to be run in most team comps, but he's also crit focused, so he's not going to really be boosting him that much. Uh, Veil, she's very end game. She's dodge focused, so you're looking at hit and dodge plus, which is not something he really needs. And then Mavier, unfortunately, is default and just gives you hit plus 10. So of these, his best supports for dodge tanking are Alir, Alchrist, Panette, and Fagato. Uh, we should check out Rosado really quick before we move on. So Rosado also is hit focused, so that's another void plus five. Uh, Rosado isn't as common in team comps, but Rosado isn't a bad unit. So if you want to run him, you can, and he will also grant a void plus five. In terms of making a team comp where support and support bonuses matter, uh, especially when considering bonded shield and creating a dual support situation where the supports of the unit scale the avoid of the bonder, 
He doesn't really have too many good bond targets outside of like a Leer. Of these units, I wouldn't want to put most of them on Lucina. So in terms of bonded shield, he has kind of poor supports, but in terms of like LTC or, you know, no Somniel runs, in terms of just like bases and growths, he's one of the better units in the game for sure. In terms of certain team comps, he definitely suffers, but in terms of just raw unit performance, he has that, but at the cost of, in my opinion, good supports and team cohesion. So is Pandreo one of the worst units in the game? Ultimately, he is arguably one of the best Mage Knights and Sages in the game because he has pretty high build. So this is him at base being transferred over, second sealed over into Sage and Mage Knight. On both classes, he has pretty good speed at base and very high build. He actually has 10 build immediately as soon as you put him on Mage Knight, which is unheard of. Levin Sword and Bulganone don't slow him down that much, and he also has 15% build growth, meaning that every time he levels up 10 times on fixed growth mode, he will get 1.5 points of build, which does add up. So if you level up 20 times, he gets 3 points of build, but all he really needs is 1-2 to two build, and Bulganone and Levin Sword will not be slowing him down at all. So that being said, he is arguably one of the best combat mages in the entire game. Another feature of Pandreo is that he's actually proficient in staves, meaning that any class that uses staves gets an extra rank. So Royal Knight usually has rank C, but he gets rank B. And also similarly, Sage is usually rank B, but he actually gets rank A. Griffin Knight is also rank C, but he gets B, which is access to warp uh, and rescue, which is very useful. Uh, Sage getting access to A allows him to use things like fortify, which can actually be situationally useful for instantly filling an engage meter. Now fortify doesn't have the best availability, but if you're using the well, you can get multiple fortifies. Getting A rank actually isn't nothing and it could lead to a huge play. So that wraps up the first worst unit ever video. I'm gonna do one of these for each of the units where I outline supports, uh, team comp, what role they wanna be on the team and why, as well as some other considerations. But definitely like and subscribe if you enjoy this, and feel free to drop a comment and let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.